Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back again to The Correct Views. If you see smoke behind me, it's not because I'm continuing the Halloween show. Um, it's not because my band is here. It is because, how many of you watched the last episode and saw the pumpkin that I said that I was using and I turned it around and made it the uh, jack-o'-lantern and did the little Halloween joke? Well, I have not been in the studio since the 30th. I went to the Johnson Rally. I filmed the Johnson Rally. I put it online and I have not been in the studio. But the pumpkin has. The pumpkin rotted. And I have gnats in my studio. And I'm using smoke and incense to get them out the window. So yes, if you see smoke, Sometimes behind the scenes at the correct views is a very fun place indeed. Alright guys, I'm going to cut from the humor here, uh, all the stupidity if you will, and go on to important things, and that is we are on election night. And those of us that care about politics care a whole lot about election night. Gary Johnson. Now friends, I'm going to lay out to you a conversation that I had with my best friend, who is voting for, or at least he was, I think I talked him out of it, much to my amazement, how you could be my best friend and still be a, so so misinformed is a, is, a, is, a, is a mark against me. It is a mark against me. Um, he said that he was voting for Romney because, and I quote, Romney is the lesser of two evils. How about not voting for evil at all? And uh, I, I'm going to go over real quick some of the points that, there it goes, some of the points that he has made that just made no sense to me. First of all, he said that Obama was a socialist, a, uh, or if you will, a uh, communist. Okay. Romney wrote Obamacare. Romney set in motion exactly what became Obamacare. No one says anything about that. Um, well, the far left, of course. Um, but they're praising him for it. He didn't like Obama because Obama outsourced. Romney has been in charge of almost every outsourcing disaster that we've ever seen. Um, uh, well, not every. That, that, that's stretching the truth. So, you know, sometimes you just say things. Recut. Obama, uh, Romney has led to many, many instances of outsourcing and has led to a much smaller workforce while wow, with Bain Capital. There you go. Worded better. Um, it was mentioned that Gary Johnson was going to be taking votes away from the conservative. First of all, Romney is not a conservative. You cannot be a conservative and be in favor of the NDAA, which for those of you that may not know, allows for the detention of American citizens indefinitely without trial, and in many instances, without access to a lawyer. Romney and Obama are in favor of this. So first of all, you cannot be a conservative if you are in favor of this. Second of all, the notion that Johnson is taking votes away from... Um, either party for that matter. I'm going to say either party. Um, this is from Policy Mike, uh, extremely leftist uh, rag. The race for the White House is currently tied at 47%, a dead heat in literally all the national polls. Still, President Obama remains the favorite, especially to win the Electoral College. And that is not true. Um, I have seen them in a dead heat in almost every poll, and prior to the exploitation of Hurricane Sandy, Romney was quite a bit ahead. But I'll keep going. It's hilarious. But if Obama wins re-election on Tuesday, it won't be because he ran a better campaign than Republican rival Mitt Romney. They are saying that Johnson is pulling votes away from Romney in such numbers that it's going to elect Johnson. And that's what my friend was saying. You know what? That's absolute malarkey. I looked it up. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some real simple math here. If Johnson 
gets 0.5% of the vote. We're going to factor that out, as in not counting. Why? Because Bob Barr, who ran as the Libertarian in 08, got 0.5% of the vote. So that is at least a given that the Libertarians were maybe, are likely to stay in the same position they were prior to Johnson. Because we're going to be talking percentage points in here in a memo. So just stay with me. Stay with me. It's going somewhere. If Johnson, Johnson is taking, it says, three percentage points away from Romney and two percentage points away from Obama. Now, that's 5%, obviously. Well, half of 1% was already going to vote for him because of Barr. As I just pointed out, consistency. You can assume that the party's not going to plummet or fly high. Um, he was expected to get half of a percent anyway, just by showing up. Um, that leaves an extra half percent that this hurts Romney more than Obama. Now, factor in Stein from the Green Party who takes votes almost entirely away from Obama. The third party system is, as I just mathematically pointed out to you, hurting Obama more than Romney. So those of you that are saying that a vote for Johnson that will pull a vote away from Romney, I just showed you how within one half of a percentage point, they're taking away equally from both parties. And then when you factor in the Green Party and the votes that they are going to get, bingo, Obama gets hurt more from third parties than Johnson. And let me say one last thing. Let me appeal to you. Let me beg you people. If you care about your country, if you give a damn about not having your rights diminished more and more and more, if you are interested in the United States not being tied up in every other nation, then please vote for Gary Johnson. Because if we can get him at at least 5%, there's something called federal matching funds. Look up my video, How to, get, how to Elect a Third Party Candidate. Federal matching funds, and I'm not going to go into it, so just go to watch that video. Federal matching funds will give the Libertarian candidate millions of dollars, and they will not be able to silence the 2016 Libertarian Party candidate if we can make sure that Gary Johnson gets 5% on this election. Again, look up the video. I explain it in detail. So please... Vote your conscience. Vote for Gary Johnson. And for those of you that care deeply about this, some do, some don't, it is very likely that Obama is an Illuminatiist uh, or very likely uh, Islamic, or at least in his early upbringing. Um, Romney is a Mormon, which is not a Christian. Uh, contrary to popular belief, I support anybody's right to be anything they want to, but let's not mince words. They believe that Christ was a created being, among other things. And uh, Gary Johnson is a Lutheran Christian. So for those of you that that matters for, there is only one traditional Christian in the race. Um, in all, in uh, 49 states, uh, minus Oklahoma and add D.C. So uh, let me clarify that. Real quick, I'm going to get to a couple of other things before I jump off here, but that was important, and I wanted to give it the time and the correct view that it was warranted. InfoWars Anonymous attacks websites ahead of planned threat to storm the White House. The hacker collective Anonymous claims it has released confidential customer information filched from PayPal servers as part of its November 5th Global Day of protest in honor of Guy Fawkes Day. Um, and basically, they're going to storm the White House and start trying to post citizens' arrests on people. As long as it's nonviolent, I don't have a problem with it. I really don't. But the reason I say if is, uh, this is also from InfoWars, will anonymous bomb threat throw election for Obama? A YouTube threat to bomb a government building, along with a plan by other members of Anonymous to storm the White House and Congress in an attempt to arrest government officials the day before the presidential election, could provide the right crisis for Barack Obama to secure a second term. 
It goes on, a U video uploaded to YouTube features a masked individual claiming to represent the Hacking Collective Anonymous stating that 200 kilograms of composite nitroglycerin and commercial explosives have effectively been concealed in government buildings situated in the United States of America. Uh, if this is true, then that's where I stop supporting Anonymous. I've said repeatedly that I am for bringing down the current system um, as long as no one is getting hurt. And that is, again, where I draw the line. And I will abandon my support of Anonymous if this proves out to be something uh, that they, as a whole, are in favor of. Um, do I think that it's real? No, I actually don't. I think they, uh, the people that are actually running Anonymous, and I know, I know they're not ran, that's part of the question here, but the people that are running Anonymous are definitely too smart for this. Um, and is it the feds? Is it the government? I don't know. Prove it is, and I'll quit supporting them for that reason, too. So far, most of what they've done is good, and I say most. Um, a couple more things, really quick. One marijuana arrest occurs every 42 seconds in the U.S., FBI report says. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's from the HuffPost Denver. Go ahead and look it up. But how in the world... And I'm happy to see that California is about ready to change their three strikes in your outlaw. Probably it's being voted to make it three violent occurrences and you're out. And I agree. Um, one marijuana arrest occurs every 42 seconds in the USA. Now, that means there's a lot of pot smokers. We have tons of laws. We have very stiff sentences. And it's not stopping it. So doesn't it seem to you to make more sense to say, hey, since we can't stop it, why don't we control it like we do alcohol? And why don't we tax it so that we can make money off of it? Because people are not going to stop doing it anyway. Um, the last thing I want to get to, and it's real fast too, this is from Reuters. This is why gas and coal are better than nuclear. Nuclear. <laughs> 7,700 gallons of oil reportedly spilled from Phillips 66 Bayway Refinery in New Jersey. And this is bad. It's real bad. Some people are going to be sick from this, and I long term, some people may die from it. Some 7,700 gallons of fuel spilled Phillips 66's 238,000 barrels per day Bayway Refinery in Linden, New Jersey, after the hurricane struck the U.S. coast a week ago. Well, you know what? If a nuclear plant would have had an accident to the level that they had an accident, we would be talking about sicknesses in the millions and the deaths in the thousands. Right there. It's a tiny little article. Did you hear about it? No, you didn't because it's controllable to some degree compared to the travesty that is nuclear. You are listening to The Correct Views. Please donate to the show if you can. I'm trying to buy a better computer so that I can get all my graphics up because I got a better camera here, but I don't have a computer that can process it. And uh, please support the show. It's brought to you by The Arcadia Grill, located on Court Avenue in downtown Canton. Delicious food, fair drink prices, fast service. Thank you for supporting uh, the show. Good night. God bless. Gary Johnson, 2012.